start with the daily graphic. Okay. And uh, the big story there says media freedom paramount. This is the president speaking. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have Yoko joins tax force to okay. grow mineral royalties. That's coming from the Daily Graphic. Yeah. And then the Ghanaian Times says, President to address the nation on economic challenges on Sunday. <coughs> so many people have called for the president to come yeah. out to at least Say tell something. us what is happening yeah. and all that. Yesterday, somebody crossed him. Before in fact, to, in to fact, the, what happened is like the wind has been taken out of your seal. <laughs> so now, what you gonna say? Well, there's a lot. He is in it. Yeah. He is supposed to put in measures to deal with the matter. Yeah. So he has more, you know, things yeah. to tell us from within. Yeah. He is in the, the river. Yeah. So he would tell but, us what is happening. But I think there. But I think yesterday's speech, uh, it was. It was very well thought through, very strategic, uh -huh. and very well thought through, uh -huh. you know, because I could, I, I, it's like the, all the things that, you know, when you hear the speech, they're like, this should have been, you know, the president. Well, let's see what the president will say on Sunday, yeah. and then we'll take it from there. I think um, I like the fact that the ex-president spoke about uniting in these troubling times yes. and the fact that they've been there before yes. and uh, the need for us all to come out yeah. to help each other. Yeah. So he just didn't uh, give his pointers to the president, to yeah. government and also Ghanaians yeah. pushing the patronize the made in Ghana yeah. stuff and all that. Yeah pushing the need for us to grow our manufacturing yeah. sector and all that. And also even remembering us of, remember domestication? Yes. The yes, guy, the yes, fact that, yes. you know, so not just um, telling government some of yeah. the things he thinks they should do, but also working, to, uh, yes, addressing all the issues. All of us, board, because yeah. this is where we find ourselves. Mm. It's not only government who solve the yeah. problem. Everybody, yeah. you know. And then he gave some of the things he believes, including cutting expenditure, um, reducing the ministers. These are yeah. certain, most of the things he has But why do people actually, still I think feel people that the numbers still need to be so high? Because it, you, even the cutting, he was very conservative about the cutting. Well, he has so to be realistic. He, six by six, nine. he has to be realistic. The, 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 what the, is, you still no. need people to do the work and to be in certain no, positions. No, but you see, he said, he, he, Vivian, he said, this is the way I look at it. Mm -hmm. As for the people to do the work, you will always need people to do the work, right? But those who are the f who the final the critical, back stops yeah. with, mm -hmm. you don't need that many people well, who the true. final back stops with. Yeah, at the end of the you day. know, and at the end of the day, and those people should not be a lot. Yeah, you know, so that's we'll really see what it whether is. Whether the president will talk about that, I yeah. doubt whether he will talk about cutting yeah. of ministers. <laughs> but then he also re reiterated the, yeah. the need to dismiss the finance minister, mm. um, as well as. Um, reconstituting the economic management team and all that. But let me just say that that um, address by the president on Sunday at yeah. 8 p.m. Uh -huh. will be live on City 97.3 FM as well as City TV. So this is the station you don't to wanna be miss it. on Sunday to you get don't wanna that. Miss it. So the president to address the nation. And then we had yesterday the central bank mm -hmm. uh, uh, going yeah. after a number of forex bureaus. So yeah. the Bank of Ghana closes down two forex bureaus for flouting foreign exchange rules. So it looks like every institution, all those who must do things to uh, change uh, things have, are, are picking up. And then, of course, the troubling one. Mm. From tomorrow, mm. the prices of transport are going up by 19%. Yeah. So yeah. Um, that's it for tomorrow. Um, this is coming from the Ghana. And the, lit the liter of fuel has already gone up in some stations. It's, right it's now, ridiculous. Eh? When you buy fuel, eh? no, the it's gauge ridiculous. looks at you like, I yeah. So, <laughs> so what the OMCs were saying, mm. I don't understand it. Why? Because when you say that, you see, mm -hmm. the conversation is on two levels. One is on international pricing, yeah. right? And the other is the exchange rate. Yeah. We've already seen the exchange rate starting to reel back in. Mm -hmm. and become a little stronger than where it got to at the 15, yes. right? So why now mm -hmm. is the price going up to 17 in, for uh, super and 19 yeah. for... Yeah. I, I don't understand the mathematics that's going on Yeah, here. you wouldn't understand, but your currency is the one now dictating. I mean, there's availability of the product, but it's difficult to get... 
the money to buy, which will affect everything in terms of the um, value chain. So it's, yeah. what, it's what it is. And, and because even cutting down on the uh, price, whatever, mm. because it's a liberal sector, mm. it's a, you know, the, there's, if you take out most of the taxes, that can be taken still. Yeah. So it's, it's what it is. So we still need to work at the currency. Mm. You know, I always like it when there's a story around jobs because yes. of the uh, unemployment challenges we have. Yeah. And um, if you go to the Finder uh, page 8, uh, the, in the front page as well, it says job opportunities okay. abound mm. in Africa's energy sector. This is Petrosol CEO speaking, and um, he's saying job that uh, opportunities abound abound oh, in yeah. the energy sector. Charlie, I have to go and do some <laughs> <course. laughs> go that way. But he's encouraged uh, the mm. youth uh, to be ready mm. to start at the base by taking up low-level jobs. That's one. He also educated the youth, that's the MD uh, of CEO of Petrosol, that okay. the energy industry is not restricted to engineers or technicians, but demands vary from expertise, include finance, health and safety, human resources, logistics, mm. economics, mm. and many other sectors. Mm. So if you lend one or two things from different sectors, don't say, oh, the oil industry is just for yeah. engineers and all yeah. those. I yeah. mean, Media, you can go and do communications yeah. for one of yeah. the big companies. There are so many opportunities, opportunities that and are for there. creatives as yeah. well. So, yeah. Charlie, yeah, absolutely. That's yeah, no, I mean, I remember, the, I remember a time where we went to go and film um, some a subsea, they call it a subsea tree. Yes, yeah, subsea, yeah. Um, you know, it's one of their, their machines that goes down into the sea mm -hmm. um, and we, we were we were hired to go and, and film the whole yeah. process and this was just even their docking yeah. they had arrived yeah. at the shore and they yeah. wanted to you know yeah. Yeah. chronicle the way it's yeah. offloaded nice. and everything it's else behind and mounted and everything else yeah so I mean like you said there's opportunities everywhere you know so we just have to keep looking and and, 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 and position yourself. And position you yourself know, to, to be able to benefit. Position yeah. yourself. It appears the uh, ex president's speech wasn't caught by many mm. um, newspapers because of the time. So the only newspaper that caught it was uh, the Republic Press. Okay. And it says Mahama calls out Friata, blames him for economic mess, and also actual forcing diagnosis economic crisis. So uh, 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 that's uh, it on uh, the uh, ex president's speech yeah. yesterday yeah. on how we can deal with the current well, economic challenge. We have some online stories. I'll take, let me take a couple of them. You can do a couple of them. Um, citynewsroom.com. If you go there, you'll find out the stories are here. Economic crisis. NDC's chief Biney to picket at Baumia's office today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Times are hard, Nanado admits. Hmm. Sack of Uriata. IMF talks. 2023 budget can proceed without him. I don't know if it's as simple as that, though, you know, because um, I was having a conversation with Apioko the other day, and she was reiterating how, you know, there are, there are all kinds of documentation that you start appending your signature to, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you're doing that in a legal construct, mm -hmm. you know. So once you start, so the question is, is he there as finance minister, mm -hmm. the, the signatures, is it the finance minister's signature, or is it, can of Uriata's signature. Do you see like yeah, the, the capacity? Uh -huh. So if you remove him, mm -hmm. it may mean go back and start the entire thing over no, all over again. Or, or it could mean before, that... I think before the negotiations, even before they started, mm. the IMF country director, yeah. there was a new one that came in. Yes. Before or during, True. I need to get True. it right. Yes. So yes. I think so, just, bef yeah. just before. Yeah. So I, and, and it's yeah. like you're saying, it's an office. Mm. It's supposed to be an yeah, office. Yeah, so you are the you are the you are the um, the the You're figure just a representation of, of that the office. office. So, so the office continues to function. Yes. So God forbid, mm. if anything happens, are mm. we saying that the negotiations won't co won't continue yeah. with Mr. Foyer? Well, I mean, I think the president was concerned about the disruption, not necessarily the stopping. Muhammad too says that it can go on without no, it can him, go on without but him. then at what expense? I'm will not we, sure. Will we I lose mean, anything? I'm not sure we would. I mean, yeah. if. if 
Quasi, so why did quasi, they... qu qu quasi, quasi, yeah. was pulled from um, uh, uh, discussions with the IMF. Anyway, During that's, the time, anyway, uh, that's yeah, true. he was that's you know, true. sacked, yeah. so what are we saying? Yeah, it doesn't true. hold. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think it may, it's fair not to um, dis disrupt mm. an ongoing process. process any leader yeah. wouldn't want to disrupt yeah. any ongoing yeah. process, especially if with, with you put people in place to deal with it. it just start, you need to start everything. Yeah. And Nobody wants that. And at this critical time where we're in a hurry to seal the deal with the yeah. IMF because we need to quickly deal with the yeah. issues. It is fair. But if it should happen, life will go on and things must be done. So I don't think... I, I've, I've had that discussion, but I'm like, mm. if we want to do it, we want to do it. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. the president says we should be patient. Three weeks. The NPP MPs all oh, this should be three weeks. Three weeks is like tomorrow. Yeah. Just <laughs> finish the thing and then let's go. He, he said what he say on the uh, uh, Bufriata yeah. thing. So yeah. ex-presidents, uh, what do you call it, yeah. advice on that. I don't think it would hold because in three weeks' time, the guy will go or stay. Hmm. Anyway, it looks like uh, it well, be... we have a lot that's coming up in the show, all right? So you don't want to miss any of it. Um, so much more that's coming up in the show. We'll take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.